The Braytech Osprey rocket launcher is way better than you think. It actually has two secrets. The first one is that it's the only rocket launcher in the game that can get five rockets in the magazine. And the second one is this right here. With pulse monitor being a perk option that it has, you can fire it infinitely without needing to reload. So we're gonna fire it, let pulse monitor deproc, and then continuously fire it over and over again. Now, obviously this might not be the most optimal strategy because you do have to break your own shields in order to do that. However, without having to reload, that makes your optimal DPS significantly higher. And what you can do after you've rallied with a field prep roll of this is then swap to the pulse monitor roll and you still get those 10 rockets and you do get the added benefit of pulse monitor. I'll show you here. Pulse monitor is still going to be on this weapon. So that's why this rocket is extremely advantageous and definitely worth snagging. Definitely the best void legendary rocket in the game. As you can see here, I can fire all 10 of these rockets without having to reload a single time because of pulse monitor. And that is pretty epic. I'm choosing to time it and not fire it as fast as possible because if I do, the pulse monitor timer won't be out and yet just yet. So there you go. That's 10 consecutive rockets fired with this roll of the Braytech Osprey. So the pulse monitor field prep alternative swap combined with frenzy is one of the god rolls perk combinations you can get for this. However, there are some other really spicy rolls for this. Like I mentioned before, if you actually roll this with the perk envious assassin in this slot here and field prep in this slot, field prep plus envious assassin and bipod allows you to get five rockets in the magazine. You'll of course initially rally with field prep, then you'll get your envious assassin perk to proc, giving you three in the mag. Now the only problem with that roll is that currently bipod does kind of stink. It gives a minus 40% damage reduction. However, Bungie has confirmed that they are buffing it next season. So right now the week to farm for the Braytech Osprey Adept, you could very well get yourself a good roll with bipod. And then maybe next season when it is buffed, it might very well be the strongest rocket in the game or one of the strongest rockets for that matter. So basically when grinding for this weapon, there's a lot of different things to consider in this column. Obviously you have field prep and envious assassin, pulse monitor, all excellent options based on how you want to play into them and if you're willing to perk swap in the middle of the encounter or at the start of the encounter. I feel like perk swapping at the very start isn't that big a deal. Usually we rally the flag, we can do so with field prep and then you can quickly swap to a stronger perk. It doesn't have to be pulse monitor if you want to do the infinite fire of your rocket and have insane DPS without having to really do much. Then of course you can rock pulse monitor but keep in mind that it does come at the risk of breaking your own shields with that rocket. But if you don't end up using pulse monitor you could definitely just use something like envious assassin and field prep. You would rally with field prep and then use your envious assassin swap over to envious assassin perk get that proc have three rockets in the mag and then have the perk frenzy for your damage perk 15 percent damage increase on top of that of course you're going to have one person on your team shooting a galhorn with those wolf pack rounds to buff up the damage of this the only downside for this weapon is that it's a high impact frame so it does 10 percent less damage than some of the other more potent rockets that we currently use in the game but even with that it doesn't make braytech osprey complete trash because it is best in class void legendary rocket keep that in mind the braytech osprey's closest competitor is the legendary rocket, the red herring. Now this is craftable. You can get field prep frenzy on this as well. However, you won't have the perks envious assassin to get three in the mag or pulse monitor to have the potential to never reload, but it definitely is a solid option for a void legendary rocket. And it has the added benefit of having the better frame, which is the adaptive frame. So it's gonna do 10% more damage baseline than the Braytech Osprey. So keep that in mind. If you want just a solid, reliable void rocket, red herring is definitely the play. But if you want something spicy new and you're looking for something to grind like the new grandmaster then definitely jump in there and try and get one of those rolls of the braytech osprey so anytime there's a void surge and you feel like needing a rocket this is going to be the rocket of choice so you probably should grind out for a decent roll at least but let me know your thoughts about this rocket down in the comments make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one later